Hi, my name is uh, David McCall. I am uh, an adult with ADHD and what I would like you to know, um, uh, I am in my 30s and um, I was diagnosed originally as a child, um, but when I was diagnosed uh, it was uh, thought at the time that uh, only it was an, only a childhood uh, disorder and I was consoled uh, by my attending physicians um, that uh, don't worry you'll grow out of it and when I got to college and everything was shiny and new uh, I convinced myself that I had grown out of it and uh, this is something that um, was told to a lot of people through the 80s and early 90s and the message that uh, uh, this condition is applicable to adults as well and that you never do grow out of it. You only develop coping techniques that uh, help you to um, better handle your, your negative symptoms. Um, that message wasn't passed on to me. It wasn't until uh, I was at work and my career had stagnated for 15 years and my boss held me accountable and put a percentage on how much he wanted my productivity to improve and that percentage happened to be the same exact percentage that my grades increased when I went on medication as a kid and then I saw a couple of YouTube videos adults talking about their experiences with ADHD that all of a sudden it was like a, an epiphany that it was ADHD that had been holding me back for the last 15 years. And I'm young. I have friends with ADHD who have, weren't even diagnosed initially and they lose a lifetime in some cases without getting proper treatment. But once you are diagnosed, or once you realize that this is what you have, you have the added weight of having to figure out how to um, best pursue treatment. It's up to you, as, uh, you know, as someone who has a disability with, with regards to time management and uh, keeping tra track of paperwork, to then go forward and be proactive with your doctor and specialists and uh, coping techniques and all of these things and there is only coverage for so much of these things. Uh, I was just in a uh, question and answer with a panel of specialists and the response that was given was that the best treatment is the uh, uh, psycho um, is the medication that the doctors can prescribe, uh, the stimulant medication as well as psycho, uh, psychotherapy such as uh, cogn cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT. Well, CBT is not covered and it costs money, a significant amount of money. And even as someone who is uh, uh, not in a minimum wage job, uh, I could not afford that therapy myself. There are plenty others out there too who cannot afford these therapies. So if there is one thing I would like to people know, let, let people know about is if you are someone who has ADHD, if you are someone who uh, has a loved one who has ADHD, then you need to be vocal. You need to do what this campaign is telling us to do, to speak out because we need to be heard. We need to show our hyperactive side, you know, we can still cause a scene as adults. Yes, the hyperactivity kind of fades a little bit, but we can make a difference if we speak up. Thank you very much for your time.